Hello there and welcome back. Today we are going to engrave or carve that design you might be able to see in the background there which was uh, put together in Carveco Maker Plus and incidentally underneath this uh, video above the comment section you will find a 5% discount code for all of the Cavco programs. So I've inlaid that piece of brass that we cut out two videos back into this nice piece of mahogany. Uh, this hasn't changed, it's been there the whole time. Um, the SMC controller has remembered where the center of that is, that hasn't changed. But the only thing that has changed is I've put a new tool in. There's a, a very small 90 degree engraving bit. So what I'm going to do is first of all put the program in, the G-code, which is huge. And this is going to take approximately three hours to cut because the step over lines you know each time it goes round and engraves the step over is is like uh i think it's one just one and a quarter thousandth of an inch so you can imagine it's going to take an awful lot to come out that far even though it's just 55 millimeters in diameter um the reason i've set it so fine is because it just gives a better finish you know you you probably will be hard pushed to see any lines at all you know it's not going to turn out like an old fashioned record or something like that um, it's going to be a fairly good finish it might need a slight polishing uh, or a buffing on a buffing wheel but uh, you know the best possible result I can get so let's put the code in now i'll fetch you in a bit closer give you a little bit of tuition on the smc controller which i absolutely love and i will remind everybody that this is a midi cnc router uh it's a router that i designed and built and i did some 15 videos I think on every single part that was made and how I built it even down to the uh, setting up the or well, actually building the electrical cabinet here uh, and a lot of information about the SMC controller how to set it up how to wire it up this whole build including the SMC controller was under a thousand dollars including the spindle the smc control everything so all the information the drawings uh the prices and where i got everything from is on my patreon pages so if you're interested you go and have a look so the first thing we're going to do is put in the G-code. So to put a G-code into the SMC controller, we just put our thumb drive or flash drive in the slot there. And you can see this is highlighted red. Now you can either move things around on the screen here by the arrows here and the OK or this uh, button that you can turn and and push so um, so we'll okay that so the SMC is showing me that it's reading the USB drive so we will open that and so you know you can I'm showing you you, you can you, you know you can use the these let me see the one down here now to this one here which is um, um, I just abbreviate everything just so I know what it is um, 
and so I'm just going to alter controls now I'm just going to press this one and then up there to tell the SMC to yes open that file and it's open and it already moves to the run position so to have a look at that file you just press this button here and that will bring up the G code now if you want to you can scroll down it and alter the lines of G code but so the SMC has a huge memory it's a 8 gig solid state hard drive um, which is expandable to an additional 32 gig just by putting one of these in so just as long as you know there's a huge memory in it and it handles 3D files and this is a demonstration of this unit handling a very very complex and big g-code file so that is now in the controller we're going to come out of that by pressing that and come back to the normal run screen so now all I have to do is actually reset the Z0 uh, these are okay uh, they I just moved it very very slightly as I when, after I put the tool in but uh, the X and Y Z0 is perfect uh, it hasn't altered uh, so we now got to find out the new Z0 of this new tool okay so I've just brought the tool down and to the top of the material there now to alter the Z0 it's the C with a line through it press that now you can choose each individual axis in actual fact this is a five axis unit but I've only got three axes running and I do understand you can use the A or the B for a tool changer if you uh, are running a tool changer or indeed you know fourth axis as well so uh, we scroll down now to come to the Z and just press OK there's it and this Z is zeroed so now that we come out of that screen back to the normal run screen and lift up and then we're ready to start this file so here we go and incidentally I've had a few people ask me this question when I say I'm going to start a file now down just down here off camera I think it's off camera uh, I've got an on off switch and a variable control that runs my spindle although the SMC will run it uh, I'm going to leave that to a, a further video to wire that up uh, and secondly to start this running obviously I need to manually start the spindle up but the next thing I do then is press that and that starts the SMC running the program so this is the start button this is the pause button or stop button uh, it also has an emergency stop on the hand control or I can stop it at any time just by pressing this um, really very simple control to use uh, and again something else I'm going to show you um, when I start whether I'm using Mac 3, Mac 4 or the SMC um, I don't like to start up with the feed rate at 100% I like to start the program up slowly and then ramp it up to 100% so I'm going to drop the feed rate down especially going into this I'm going to drop it down to 20% um, start it machining then ramp it up and see if it'll go up to 100% of what the um, feed rate is that I set in curve curl.
Well, that job just took five hours and one minute to cut and 913,000 lines of coal. That's getting on for a million lines of coal. Now that is something really special. And of course we all around the world owe such a lot to such a few. So I hope you've liked the demonstration of 3D engraving in brass with this MIDI CNC router, all the plans and pricing for this MIDI CNC router, including the SMC controller and all the electronic pack is all for, you, you can actually make this all for under a thousand dollars and turn out work like this. Of course this is a modular unit, you can make it any size you want. If you wanted to make it uh, 4 foot by 4 foot, no problem at all. Um, I just made it uh, this size because it just suits me. Uh, it's easy to demonstrate from. And I am absolutely over the moon with the SMC5 controller. That, ladies and gentlemen, was near to a million lines of code. I took a stab in the deck and thought, oh yeah, it's about 20,000. No. One, well, close to one million. It's 900, it was 910,000 lines of code. I showed you on the video clip just before this. Um, probably one of the largest files I've ever machined, actually. And, of course, uh, you know, jewelers and uh, people like, you know, the Australian Mint and things like that. This is how, this is how they make coins, or the, the stamp, the dies for coins and medallions and medals. Uh, and this is the exact same process uh, that you would go through over the last three, four, five videos that I have produced. Uh, and you can produce a perfect result. Uh, now you understand um, why there's so many lines of code. Because uh, the step over, right, so each time the, the, um, the tool went around one circuit, of its spiral engraving, it only stepped over one thousandth of an inch. So many thousands of times that that went round. Uh, and what that does is it cuts down on the, the finishing that you would have to do or may have to do. There's very little finishing to be done on that other than a buffing wheel and, and that's it perfect job uh, if anybody's asking about SMC's what can I say no problem with huge files uh, and I must remind everybody that I am not associated with uh, SMC whatsoever I bought this uh, it wasn't given to me, and I do notice in the comments that people are saying, oh, he gets his stuff for free. No, I pay for everything, so, uh, you know. Uh, and that's another thing, too. Um, it is the patrons behind this channel that uh, keep it going and enable me to do things like this, you know, do this, uh, this make. So, um, if you'd like to become a patron, um, it all helps to uh, produce videos for everybody to learn and that's what this channel is about teaching everybody who wants to know or who has any 
thoughts of uh, starting up either a hobby or a small little business. Uh, if you want to start off with a hobby and you don't think you can afford it, go and have a look at my 3018 videos. You can do maybe not as 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 you may not be able to do this sort of carving, but you can certainly be able to uh, start carving it in wood. Um, So I've done about 15 or 18 videos on the 3018, which is sat behind this actually. And the upgrades I did to that. And of course there's 15 or 18 videos on the MIDI CNC router, which I'm having a lot of fun with actually. And you know, you appreciate something more if you build it yourself. And you learn more if you build it yourself. Uh, you, you know, you learn how the things tick, and if there's a problem, well, you fault find and you sort it out by using, you know, YouTube videos, or even sending in, you know, on the comment section, section asking me advice, or people like me advice, will tell you. So, if you've liked the video today, please like and subscribe and uh, come and have a look at some of my other videos. And if you like them and you think your friends like the videos, pass them on because that's how the channel grows and keeps going. The bigger the channel gets, the more information and videos I can put out there to help you guys. So, thank you for joining me. And it's bye for now. Thank you.